Well, good morning. <laughs> We're kind of starting this day out a little later than usual. Uh, it's a rolling start. That's what we're gonna call this because I, I didn't take video when I was outside the truck. Um, I meant to. I was gonna show you guys the front bumper, but I got distracted. I was thinking about trying to get the dog out, but there were a lot of people milling about. It was really a very busy truck stop in the area that I was parked even uh, for being what it was. So I was kind of surprised by that. Um, and the guy next to me uh, that was doing his pre-trip, he was a uh, He's not from this country, and I've learned that people not from this country are uh, inexplicably afraid of black dogs. Most of them are, so I just don't ask anymore. Um, uh, I just kind of try to be nice and not be rude and, and try to find another place for Pepper to go out. So uh, after I did the pre-trip, I kind of looked around on the map to see if there was a place for Pepper to go out. There's not really a good place so um the next best place i could think of was there's a truck parking area uh on 40 west of it's between santa rosa and moriarty and moriarty's probably I'm not sure how far away moriarty is anyway albuquerque's 114 miles so uh moriarty's about 30 miles from albuquerque so, and that spot's about 20 miles from Moriarty. So whatever 50 miles closer is, so we're looking at probably 70 miles, 60, 70 miles that, that, that pull out, and that's where we're gonna. So I'll stop there and let her out, and she'll be able to run and do what she wants to do, and then uh, hop back in the truck, and then we're gonna go on to Lisa's, which, you know, another 20 miles later, and I'm gonna go and do what I need to do, um, and everything, and then we're gonna head on out through there. Today should be, we're going to go right back up the way we came. Basically, we're going back to Washington. So today should be probably, um, I think, the, uh, the the deserts and the, uh, the desert north of Albuquerque on the 550. I mean, we're going to Portland, basically. We're going to Vancouver, Washington, which is Portland area. And uh, so the route so far out of Lubbock has been the 87 to uh, I can't remember if the 87 goes up to uh, Santa Rosa or not. I think the 87 to the 40, the 40 to the 25, the 25 to the 550, the 550 to the 64, the 64 to the 491, the 491 to the 191, the 191 to the 70. Uh, I think I'm going to go almost exactly what I did last time, which is the 70 out to the 50, the 50 to the 80. Nine. Uh, that's not another route I usually take. Uh, the 89 to the 15, the 15 to the 84, the 84 to, uh, and then just the 84 all the way across to Portland. So more than likely on Wednesday or on Thursday night we'll be there. Uh, we'll be in Portland to unload them. So anyway, all right, enough babbling for today. You guys are up to date. So look at some scenery.
swear to God, the, the boots are not changing who I am. <laughs> but they might be. So we're, uh, we're about 11.7 miles southwest of Cortez. I had to do a 30 minute break in order to uh, finish out my day today. Uh, we're gonna try to get all the way to Green River. Tonight we may go a little bit further. I doubt it. I think Green River is pretty much where we're gonna get to. It's about three hours away. I think I had like four hours to drive. Oh, four hours, 50 minutes. Actually, I could go quite a bit farther. Um, so I don't know exactly what that means for tonight, but I know we're at least stopping in Green River for a little bit. But I had to do a 30 to continue the day. And uh, since I was down for like 30 minutes, it's like instead of, you know, like sitting around in the truck not doing anything, I get out and polish the wheels. So I do it every now and then, but I don't do it like that on a regular basis. And, um, but I didn't mind. You know, I got out and I got a little step stool, a little folding step. I got that out and set on it. Pulled uh, some polish I have over here in the driver's side door out and uh, did that. And then, uh, let's see, we did, um, so polished everything, got back in the truck. It took about 30 minutes, which was about right. Your head's in my way. Your head's in my way. Thank you. Yes, I have trained her to respond to that. So she's sitting up looking at everything. I can't see if there's anybody coming from the right here. So, uh, anyway, all right. So we're gonna get on, getting on. I'm hoping I'm gonna catch most of Moab uh, in sunlight. However, I think it's gonna end up being like that one time when uh, the sunset in Moab video uh, a couple weeks ago where you, I ended up with uh, hardly anything as far as Moab was concerned. I mean, it was like, I think I'm gonna hit it about that time, so. Oh, I'm babbling, I know I'm babbling. Anyway, let's get on the road.
evening. We're in Green River, Utah, in uh, what I like to consider to be my secret spot in Green River. Um, honestly, it's not that secret. It's literally across the highway from <laughs> Green River, Utah. Um, it's like if you're going eastbound on the, I'm yeah, I'm gonna tell you where it is, and don't fuck it up, please. If you see this video. Don't share it with a bunch of people. All the people that watch my videos, I'm sure, are wonderful people with good intentions. And they would never, ever, ever, ever throw trash out on the ground at a place that they park. Right? Okay. So, heading westbound. First exit for Green River. Instead of making a right and going into Green River, you make a left, go across the cattle guard. To the right, there is a big... Uh, dirt area that you can park. Not that Green River ever um, fills up to the point that you can't find any parking. I mean, the West Winds got had parking when I was there a couple hours ago. Uh, I'm sure the Loves, that huge Loves, it's on the uh, west end of Green River, probably has uh, a lot of parking right now. But I like a nice, quiet place. I've done what I need to do as far as the truck stop is concerned, including getting something to eat, and uh, I have come back over here so that we can uh, chill out over here and just kind of enjoy the evening. A nice, quiet evening. Listening to a buzz of some kind. Which is probably the fridge. Anyway, so. Uh, we did 538 miles today. I need to do like 474 miles a day in order to make it by uh, Friday morning at 8 o'clock. We covered 538 miles today, so we're a little bit ahead of the game by about uh, 60 miles or so. Um, that being the case, it's like... Um, that being the case, uh, we've only got 960 miles left uh, to get to the address that we're going to in Vancouver, which means we're probably only about 900 miles away from uh, Portland, which means the next two days only have to be 450 miles, which probably means I'm going to push a really far away tomorrow and make the next day like only 300 or 200, 300 miles. Who knows? I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do 700 miles tomorrow. I'll probably make it 300 miles or something. I'll push to almost 600 tomorrow and do it that way. But uh, there's no reason to. I can, uh, I can, uh, you know, sip fuel. At 65, uh, well. oh, all right, hold on. Sorry, the GoPro started screaming at me that the battery was low, so I had to uh, plug it in. I'm going to sip fuel between here and Portland, try to get the best fuel economy I can. That's what I was doing today. I'm at like 7.5 right now, so that's pretty good for this truck. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. And uh, just try to make it, like, I don't know. <sighs> Why does Bliss, Idaho keep popping up in my head? Like, that's the place to go. Bliss, Idaho tomorrow. So, anyway, that's where we're going to go. Uh, today was a good day. Otherwise, uh, no issues. Uh, truck's running great. Knock on wood. Um, so, you know, another report. Just some good scenery. Uh, ran through Moab again today. So, that's it. Yeah. It's a recap of the day. So I'm going to finish my cigar. I'm going to make y'all your film. I'm going to hope that you guys like it. I know you will. I'm going to say thank you very much for riding with me today. I really appreciate you coming along. I know the dog enjoyed it. Right, Pepper? She's asleep. She didn't care. And uh, you guys know the drill. Keep the shine side up. See you down the road.